Dundee United manager Ivan Golads appears to be persisting with a 3-4-3 formation with the midfield men all Scottish internationals Bowman, McInally, McKinley and Malpass Dutch goalkeeper Guido van de Kamp is flourishing in the absence of the injured Alan Main and outfield defensive stability is provided by Gordon Petric the 24-year-old sweeper who was the manager's priority target from the moment he came to Tannadice already the half million pound fee paid to Partizan Belgrade looks to be a bargain Ian Angus, George Burley and Paul McGrillan drop out of Motherwell's starting lineup, which lost in midweek to St Johnston. Dougie Arnott is suspended and Paul Lambert still unfit. But the good news for the travelling fans of Lancashire is the return of skipper Chris McCart to the defence and 21-year-old international player Phil O'Donnell to midfield. He's missed the last two matches during which Motherwell have dropped three points out of four. The referee this afternoon in his second last season on the Grade 1 list due to retire on the age rule after next season, Hugh Williamson from Renfrew. The mother will start a match of crucial importance to their championship hopes after the midweek lapse at Perth. And they have some key men back in the side to help their cause. Next week's Tenet Scottish Cup tie, forgotten for the moment, when the two sides meet again here in the same arena. Conditions then certainly will not be any better than they are right now, with the pitch in excellent condition and the overhead conditions also excellent. Very little wind to speak of. And sun shining at the moment as Rob McKinnon prepares to take a long throw. Steve Kirk playing up front with Tommy Coyne, looking for that. Played across there for a throw to Dundee United. Well, United in a very convincing run at the moment. They've only had two defeats in their last 12 matches. Both of these by one goal to nil. It's good play by Kirk. Movement in the centre. And turned away to safety by David Bowman. Good defensive header. Taking no chances at all there. So a chance here for Mother Wallace. Steve Kirk looked up from the byline there. Playing the ball across the far post. Looking for McKinnon coming in. There's McKinnon with the corner kick. The cart challenged by Petric. Well, Philobin did well. That's Kirk. Welsh intercepts to make the clearance. This is Krivokovic back against his former club. Spent five seasons here, Krivokovic, with Dundee United. O'Donnell back to Dolan. On the far side, Shannon breaks. Coins dummy, read quickly by Petric, here goes Dolan again, he was caught by McKinley going through, and then collided with Welsh, it's McKinley's foul all right, but the damage was actually inflicted by Brian Welsh accidentally, as Dolan went careering into him, great dummy there by Coyne, Petric playing it out, and McKinley caught nothing, guilty of the foul, there's the collision with Brian Welsh, so a chance for Motherwell, John Philobin has a lot of dig with his right foot, McKinnon with the left, it's played for McKinnon. All straight into the new stand on the construction behind Guido van de Kamp. Well, pretty orthodox free kick that, but the finish sliced high and wide. Still a little bit of testing out going on. As the sides settle tactically to the formations. Motherwell making more changes than United to the normal setup. Everyone back facing the ball except Tommy Coyne. Dykes just committed. That's commanding goalkeeping. Well, they've been given the opportunity again to convince Tommy McLean that he should be in the side to the exclusion of Billy Thompson. After some eccentricity in midweek, but he comes for this brilliantly. It's a very good take. Conley trying to get the better of Krivakovic. McKinnon provides the cover. Well, the referee there indicating, I think, a free kick for obstruction by Krivakovic, rather than a corner. Put in by McKinley, and Chris McCart was very alert indeed to that. There's Krivakovic. 
McKinnon battling hard for possession. It's a good spell this from United. Here's McKinley. Finding Malpass. And the shot scooped over the bar. Malpass playing much further forward than he used to. Under Ivan Golats, he's been given encouragement to support the front man. Just as he's doing here, that pass from McKinley. Malpass over the ball. Not a prolific goal scorer by any means. Booster's layoff. Here's McKinley, the playmaker. Conley made a good run. Picked up by Philippin. Back again with Malpass. That's a great header by Brewster. It's a brilliant goal by United. It's been threatened for the last 10 minutes or so. And Craig Brewster collects goal number 11 in his United career. But it really was down to the quality of the pass. Played in by Malpass. He took that ball from Connolly. Played it in a very good ball indeed. Brewster getting up to the glancing head left Dykstra helpless well you'll see from this angle just the quality of the cross here from Morris Malpass flew the defensive nightmare of a mother the way that ball came in and Brewster using his height to get to that Malpass towards Connolly that's a very good head flick here's Brewster his crab and support and a splendid effort there by Brewster here's McAnally excellent goalkeeping by Dykstra well, two very good saves in a matter of seconds there by the Dutch goalkeeper. Craig Brewster noted for his shooting par. Dijkstra didn't attempt to hold that, beat it out straight to McAnally, but this was an even better save. Can't get a touch again, he's so good at that. Petrich with the clearance. Dolan decides whether or not there's time to bring that down, decides there isn't. Cap towards Shannon. Here's Martin. McKinnon with a header. Well, Mollowano is starting to get players into that United penalty box. Well, McKinnon going forward frequently there. Couldn't control this header. But a good move this from Motherwell. Shannon playing it back to Martin. And McKinnon getting in there ahead of Welsh for the header. Boost up. Philippin. McCart. That was handballed by Van der Horn. He'll be booked. The pass was going to reach Tommy Coy in good position there. Well, Freddy Van der Horn trying, I think, to avoid referee Williamson, but he won't succeed. Tommy Coy, the player, frustrated by that handball. Well, Van der Horn, I think, trying to suggest he'd been fouled earlier in the incident. There was Martin's pass, clear handball. It would have reached Coy in good position. Well, here's McKinnon with the free kick. Up goes Martin. It's an awkward one. And had to be touched over by Van de Kamp. Well, the game has changed complexion rather in the last five minutes. Although perhaps sensing the wrath of the manager, Tommy McLean, at half time, stepping up the pace. Ryan Martin getting up very well to that. It was awkward. Kinnan's corner kick, up goes Martin again. McCart battling for the ball, mistimed it initially. Now Coyne, lofting it across, looking for McKinnon. see this again now just look how difficult it was for Bowman he had to try to play that wanted to head it wide but couldn't get enough on it there goes Petrich with the clearance Brewster's layoff this is McKinley been allowed to turn McKinley again headed on by McAnally here's McKinley with a great chance once again a good stop by a nice stop second from Brewster miraculous goalkeeping by Dykstra well justifying his inclusion without any doubt at all well Motherwell certainly entitled 
to be a goal behind after that and the goalkeeper has pulled off two miracles to keep them on level terms splendid play by Dijkstra here's McKinnon and the horn there heading away that's O'Donnell to Dolan here's O'Donnell shooting chances on that's on what a match this is turning out to be Phil O'Donnell shot well saved so the volley attempted here by Phil O'Donnell bouncing awkwardly beaten away by Van de Kamp very awkward again Van de Kamp did well punching it away here's McKinley O'Donnell having to use his running power to get back it's still McKinley linking with Connolly movement in the middle Brown through the gap there's no offside there's Welsh and once again it's Dykstra here's Connolly and Dykstra makes it an all fine save wow what an incredible performance Dykstra injured there what an incredible sequence of play involving the incredible goalkeeper He's taken an off there on the right leg, but he has been quite outstanding in this first half. Welsh with an excellent opportunity. Brilliantly saved there by Dykstra, and then another good stop here from Connolly. We're into injury time in the first half. Now Brian Welsh. Looking for Brewster. Connolly who was too close in and goal to get that pass from Brewster with a header Milanovic to McCart there by Welsh comes to Dolan it's angled across the far side looking there across and Van der Hoorn catches the goalkeeper completely off balance and it's half time and the most remarkable match with Mother going in now with a 2-1 lead provided by two on goals after Craig Brewster had put United ahead with a fight header in 19 minutes but the story of the first half was the goalkeeping of Steve Dijkstra who brought off by my reckoning five miraculous saves Otherwise, Muller would surely be at least a couple of goals behind. At half time, Dundee United 1, Mullerwell 2. The last time Mullerwell beat Dundee United here at Tannadice was in 1976, when they won by four goals to one. And since that time, they have not managed the victory here. They now have a great chance with this 2 1 lead at half time but I can't help thinking that Ivan Golac will be telling his United players that they showed in the first half they had enough ability to overturn this deficit good running by Connolly that was two well defenders to cope with does well to find Crab headed by Brewster and Dijkstra took his hand away at the last minute realizing the ball was over the bar he certainly has been a major threat to the model defence throughout the match so far. And here he goes again, jumping well for this header, Craig Brewster. Not quite on top of the ball. McKinley in a hurry. Push surely by McAnally on Martin. No, Bowen launches the ball forward. Chase on here. One by Krivokovic. This is Brewster. And now Connolly. Crab. Connolly again. The chance is on this time. And once again it's Dykstra. It was Morris Malpass denied this time. 
Well, is there any way past this man this afternoon? He's been beaten once, he had no chance for that. And this time he really should have no chance either. Connolly playing that into the area there, Malpass was quickly in the ball, but another fine save by Dykstra. Philippin back to Dykstra. Well, the eccentricities reappear. Tommy McLean going off his head down below us there at Dykstra's performance there. Connolly. All still in play. It's good work here from United once again. And the header came from Crabb. Comfortably held there by Steve Dykstra. Well done, the United looking such a potent force in attack here. That ball was played across by Welsh. Crabb attacked it well. Dykstra using his height to take that. Malpas had to make that tackle count. Nixon to McKinley, here's Nixon again. Forward it goes to Connolly, back to Nixon, he's showing his pace here. And once again, it's Dykstra who makes the save. He's disappointed he didn't hold that. Tell by his reaction. But, Garen Nixon here, showing his attacking ability for United. He was quick, he was clever, and finishes a good shot at goal. Couldn't reach it, it's by the line by Dykstra. Well, there's no luck at all for Dundee United in front of goal, but Dykstra once again showing remarkable reactions to save that from crossing the line. Malpass now on the left. Connolly comes short for the pass. O'Donnell is in the way. Motherwell finding it impossible to get out of the run half, though. Pressure is relentless here. There's Nixon. And Krivokovic did extremely well there. Kept his eye on the ball, kept his bearings. He's been such an important player this afternoon, Krivokovic from Motherwell. Patrick with a header. That's McKinnon towards Coyne. He's got Crabb. Petrich, McKinley, McKinley, excellent play again from United. Once again, the Malo defence standing firm there, Scott Crabb, and a disappointing finish there with that slice shot. Hoping there for a corner kick, he thought it might have been deflected. A rueful smile on the face, there's a word with the referee there. There goes Coyne, that's for Kirk. Dolan races through the middle. Well, that's too far ahead of Coyne. Easy for when they can't. Tommy McLean is incensed by that. He now reaches for the touchline. Comes off Brewster to Crab. Here's Christian Daly. Well, that's fine running by Daly. And a very good interception by Chris McCart. Could so easily have turned that into his own goal. But Christian Daly showing a glimpse there of the incredible promise he has just look at the way Daly takes this in the chest then goes between two defenders and bites on the tackle recklessly and McCart is there Dykstra comes for that well that solves any problems well Tommy McLean not happy with his defensive positioning there Heather by Petrich here's Dolan Avoiding handball narrowly, looking there for Coyne. Well, that's beautifully taken down. But Rob McKinnon has made a break inside him. And Coyne, with a goal scoring instinct, fired the shot. It's the control here which is top class. As the ball comes in from Dolan, this is a very difficult skill. Beautifully killed and shot over the top. That's thumped away by Philibin. A chase on here. Coyne is in behind Petrich. What can he do here? One against one. Waits for help, gets it from Kirk. 
Well, an odd hopeful one that by Kirk. He's still up possession though with Burley. That's a careless one. Although we'll have to defend again. That was a chance, fleetingly. There's Crab playing it long, too long, I suspect, for Connolly. Couple of minutes of the match left, plus injury time. There's been a little of that, perhaps some time wasting in the eyes of the referee, Hugh Williamson. But a second change being made here by Motherwell. Well, Coy comes off to tremendous applause from the Motherwell fans. It's not been the kind of match he prefers because the Motherwell have been defending too much, but little Paul McGrillan comes on to freshen up the counter-attacks. But more importantly, I think, at this stage, to waste some precious seconds before the end. His mother will hang on. This is Welsh. Nixon with Philibert at the byline. It's a good ball to Malpass. And that well blocked by Burley. It's a throw to United. Well, whatever Malpass thought, the referee was saying a throw all the time. Malpass again. Cleared by Martin to the relief of McCart to misjudge the flight. And dangerous play there, it's a free kick to United. Well, we're inside the last minute. And a free kick for United to exploit if they can. It's indirect because it was dangerous play. The upraised right arm tells that. Can't imagine there would be a direct attempt and goal anyway. It will be knocked to the side, I think. Every mother will play facing the ball. The vital moment. Can United save it? And the wall will have to retreat somewhat. And Nixon proving to be a nuisance among these other world players. Petric, I think, may have the attempt and goal. Here's Gordon Petric. Very good blocking play by Motherwell, but there's still a problem on here. Shannon at full stretch. Here's Crabb. Now Welsh, headed away by Shannon, there's Kriv Lukovic, McGrillan on his own, what can you do with this? The inside, Malpass is fine play by McGrillan. Well, that's good play by the little striker, relieving the defence with that run. They may well have been lucky with the shot, but he showed a very good turn of pace here to go between two defenders and try to test Guido van der Kamp. The referee checking with his linesman who says that time is up, it's only stoppage time to be added here by the referee, it's his assessment of any time wasting. Philippin challenging, Brewster got a touch, it's away by Cuck, then McKinnon, here's McGrillan. Trying to play that for Philippin, who's done extremely well here, John Philippin, bursting from the back, and has the presence of mind to play a pass there to Dolan and take it back. It's fine play this by Motherwell. And the final whistle goes, Motherwell have won the match. But really, that is something of a travesty as far as Dundee United are concerned. It was United who held sway throughout the match. They attacked relentlessly in the second half. And while Sieb Dykstra was undoubtedly the hero of the match for Motherwell with these outstanding saves in the first half and a couple of good in the second half, he was extremely well protected by his defence in that spell of attacking play from United after the interval. Motherwell's championship challenge is revived for United. I'm sure they can scarcely believe it. It's Dundee United 1, Motherwell 2. Do you think that's as good a performance as you've provided for Motherwell? I don't know, I have something in common with, uh, with uh, talent eyes. I, I always play my best game here. Uh, last year I had uh, uh, two uh, great games here and this, this year uh, I had two great games, so it's, I'm quite, quite pleased about that. You came in for some criticism after the game against St Johnston. Did you feel you had a point to prove? No, I didn't, no, I, I, I didn't find that I had a point to prove. Uh, I mean, I proved, I proved last year that I'm a good goalkeeper and I proved it this year. I mean, the midweek performance against St Johnston, I thought uh, that I had in a bad game. I mean, the, the press and everybody was unfair against me. Um, especially for the first goal. I mean, it took an took awkward bounce and uh, it can happen to every goalkeeper. Did you get some advice from your manager about that match, particularly about uh, using the ball at your feet? 
Yeah, I had to come into his office um, uh, after the St. Johnson game, and he told me that I have to skip the dribbling because it, it is too dangerous. But it is good fun, though, isn't it? <laughs> it's good fun for the crowd, eh? <laughs>